So um, <clears throat> both your character and Vanessa's character are very strong and independent women. Do you think that female characters in action movies are evolving and changing? Oh, definitely. Of course they are. Absolutely. In the last five years, you know, I mean, a huge change. Um, and I think now an action movie is not really acceptable without a very strong uh, female presence, you know, um, active within the story, um, active within the action. So, yes, it's, it's good. so for me, it's such a great thing to see. Twenty years ago, you didn't see that. And, and so I'm so, so thrilled that it's happening finally. It's a, bit, a little too late. I would prefer to see it happen 30, 20, 30 years ago, but finally it's happening. And also, maybe broad audience is not used to see you in an action film. Did you imagine that you would be part of a franchise like Fast and Furious? <laughs> no, I didn't, actually. I wanted to be very much, and I asked if they would have me in their movie. I didn't mind what I played. It didn't matter how small the role was. I just wanted to be a part of this extraordinary franchise. I love driving cars. I love cars. Um, uh, I love the technology of cars. So, um, you know, it was something I very much wanted to be involved in. But I never, you know, so I asked and, and you know, what, watch what you ask for because you might get it. And I did get it. And what do you think that this spin-off can offer that is new compared to other Fast and Furious films? Oh, that's an interesting point. I, I think um, it, it just takes a whole idea of family. I think, I think this, this film in particular is obviously it's about sensational stunts with cars but it's also very much about family relationships and I think that's really um, what's really developed within this story and and therefore we have um, Vanessa's character Hattie come on board um, such a fabulous character you know and I think now we can hopefully really go forward with f other f family stories and develop it further and for you what is the most appealing thing about your character? Oh, there's lots of appealing things about my character. I love her um, down-to-earthness. I mean, I love her clothes. <laughs> Not necessarily in prison clothes, but, you know, I love how she dresses. I love her attitude. She takes men on absolutely directly. She's unafraid. Um, she's courageous. Uh, and she's a survivor. And what do you think is the most powerful message of the film? Um, family is important. Family is very important. And also the film talks about dark side of technology through Brixton's character. What is your point of view on this topic? The dark side of? Technology. Of technology. Uh -huh. I, think, uh, I think we still have a very long way to go as far as technology is concerned. And um, it was born in a sense of optimism and, and hopefulness and idealism and naivete to a certain extent um, and I think now we're discovering how very uh, dark it can be and, and how very influential in the wrong ways we've discovered with, uh, with elections in America and in Europe so um, I think we you know I, I think we're at the very uh, just at the beginning of a long journey and if you had to describe the movie with only three words? Uh, fast, family, fabulous. <laughs>